Peaky Blinders. We're getting a Peaky Blinders movie. Uh, and this is our first look at Killian Murphy in the Peaky Blinders movie. Thomas Shelby. Thomas Shelby. Uh, yeah. But for for people who don't know the show, um, it's it's about sort of the Peaky Blinders gang. Uh, they they were a real gang, but they were nothing like how they are in the show. Um, I've I've watched the show a good two or three times. It is fucking phenomenal. Killian Murphy absolutely killed it in the role. All the cast was phenomenal, and you know the show. Unfortunately, the show ended, but it left it open. Now, I know Colm hasn't seen the last season. I know, what a bitch. Um, so, no spoilers here on my end, but it definitely left it open for a film. But it also, it concluded the show in such a nice way, but at the same time, it, it leaves you excited for what's to come. Because when I finished watching the final season, I knew there was going to be a movie. I didn't think it could be possible, though. Um, th- I heard a lot of things, Callum, you know this. The Walking Dead, we were supposed to get a Rick Grimes film. Uh, or a trilogy, free, even. Yeah, free Rick Grimes movies. Yeah, which that didn't happen. We ended up getting loads of different spin-off shows. So, but before that, even then, uh, we were supposed to get a movie uh, that was going to cap off Breaking Bad, which we did with El Camino, which is fucking <sighs> phenomenal, fantastic, some of the best uh, I've ever seen. So, you know, after that came out, and I started hearing about, oh, we're getting a Peaky Blinders film after the show. I was like, okay. This is now very real, very possible, and I'm very much looking forward to this. Yeah, this is a joint Netflix and uh, BBC production, so interesting to see what's going to happen with that. I'm assuming that we'll get theatrical release here, uh, and maybe Netflix. It would be nice. Netflix yeah. uh, overseas, so. Yeah. yeah, I love how we were talking about Netflix previously and saying like how we don't see, you know, we don't value Netflix that much anymore. But when they do shit like this, I'm like, okay, I might keep yeah. my subscription. Well, that's the thing. Every now and then with Netflix, they put out that much shit, but for every hundred pieces of shit, there's some of that's fucking great. Yeah. So. 100%. Yeah. Well, so, would you say that the show, um, obviously I haven't seen it, would you say that the show left in a point where you could have stopped watching there? They may, didn't have to continue, but it's, they can. So. Somewhat, yeah. I think it did a really good divide of 50-50 for me. Um, You know, but if you knew there was a film coming out anyways, like, my mum got me actually into the show. She told me about it. And I sat down and I thought, I sat down and watched it. The show's got Tom Hardy in it. Uh, Well, (laughs) and Killian Murphy. (laughs) How do you think I watched it? (laughs) Yeah, Kyle's Um, been a massive whore, just letting you all know. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Um, Sorry. Yeah, no, I... I, I was I was I was in the I was in sort of two minds of like this could have just ended and ended fine but at the same time I would love to see the film and I'm I'm hundred percent down for it. Um I'm glad we're in this era of, you know, T V shows going into films. Obviously of course we've got Mandalorian uh, Grogu happening yeah. which is set after the, the series. So I, I like this. I really like this that we're getting sort of it's like getting an extra finale, but you know, quadrupled in scale. Yeah, yeah, it's becoming like you know, it's always kind of been a been a thing as well, though, on it. It's been like, all right, you get you see, you know, you get your, your seasons, and it's like, if it's successful enough, here's a movie. So yeah, yeah, look, and this is reignited my uh, curiosity in the show, yeah show again because i've seen the first five seasons i believe is it a six season show i think we're getting lost the connection there no you're all right you are you okay yeah yeah okay um sorry what did you say seasons is is it a five or is it a six season show six yeah six so i've definitely seen the first five um i think Uh i think i've even seen the first episode of six as well Six, um, I was worried about six, obviously, of course, that the, there was the terrible tragedy um, of Helen McCory, uh, who plays Polly Gray in the oh, show, yeah. amazing character, um, so obviously they, they would have had to work around that, and 
you know what, they pay homage to her in such a beautiful way from the get-go, and it does, the last season does feel like it is missing one of its yeah. lungs or its hearts or something like that. Is, um... It's definitely... I need Taylor Joy's in this, isn't she? She is, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. All right, yeah. yeah she's cool. she's got a very irritating accent, but she's a great character nonetheless. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, so it, it was sad, obviously, with that, but even then, still, the season, they managed to pull through and, and give us a great season. Um, but it is it is really sad that this character, this great great actress, uh, she's no longer with us. Uh, yeah. But she, she's in a majority of the show anyways, and she's... She could easily be some of the best part uh, parts of the show as well. Yeah, no, definitely. And look, one of the things I love about this show is how it evolved every season to somewhat different. You know, the start low level, and then they start getting into the big leagues, the big leagues, and it's actually surprising how far up the big leagues actually go. Because uh, oh, yeah. nowhere he, where I was watching it last, he's in Parliament, so. Yeah, they uh, they contact uh, Capone as well. They get in contact with him and all the you know yeah. mafia over in America and stuff like that. So it's it's uh, it's season really... four in it when um, Adrian Brody's character, like the American gangster Luca, yeah, Summer, I think Luca it, Changretta. yeah, and he comes over. I thought that was yeah. a great fucking season. So you know what? That's that's it's not it's not my favorite though. Is it not? It's not my favourite. No, no. I just love how he plays him. I love how he plays yeah. him. No spoilers, obviously, listen, guys. But listen, listen, get this, this, show, this show is fucking great. It's got a phenomenal cast. You'll recognise loads yeah. of people in it. Uh, it's got the dude from the first Jurassic World, uh, Jurassic Park film. Sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, it's got. It's it's got a lot. This is jam packed. It's got Tom Hardy, who is genuinely. I think he's got his best performance in in this yeah. show. So I, I know um, this was quite a global phenomenon anyway, this show, but yeah. our American audience, if you, seen it. If you haven't yeah. seen because I'm not going to say it to our British audience because uh, when each, I were walking into work and everyone was like, you know, I think summer else were on at the same time when season six were coming out. So I don't think I got around to watching it as everyone was like, you've watched, your peak, you watched season six Peaky Blinders yet? I was like, no, I haven't watched it, I haven't watched it. And that is literally everyone I work with, so yeah. Yeah. It's a big, uh, big British thing, but our American audience who haven't seen it, watch the show. Also before, big, yeah. Watch the show before the big, show, uh, but the film comes out because it's great. Uh, yeah. But right. Wow. Wasn't that a great video? Would you agree, Kyle? Yes, you should definitely give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed. We are now late night TV talk show hosts who say subscribe to our channel after video because we are cool. Oh, fuck yeah, that's kind of what we're doing, aren't we? Shut mate, just commit to it. Oh, no. no. But don't commit, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Right, thanks yeah. for watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>